Hey, Razorback fans and Hogbeat subscribers. I'm here with 2021 offensive line signee Terry Wells from Wynn, Arkansas. Terry, how has everything been since you signed with the Razorbacks? Everything has been great ever since then. I just knew it was going to be a lot of hard work, so I've been working so I can get better and better every day. I saw a picture of you with some awards the other day. Yes, what were all those for? Well, one of them was the KWIN Bud Rally Award. One of them was All Conference. One of them was Outstanding, Outstanding Offensive Line. And the other one was the uh, Male Athlete of the Year. Uh, looking at all those and, and looking back on your senior season, uh, how did you feel like everything went for you? And did you accomplish everything in high school that you wanted to accomplish? Yes, man, I did. It went, it went great. You know, we had 11-1 season. So, yeah, you know, that went great. What areas of your game do you feel like you improved on the most throughout the course of the season and during your workouts that you're doing now? Well, I, I improved on my, uh, my footwork and my, my run blocking. Yes, ma'am. How did the coaches envision you fitting in on the offensive line? Do you have any idea of what position they might start you out at when you get to campus? Yes, ma'am. They might start me out, out as um, offensive tackle. Uh, I don't know exactly which side, but, you know, I pretty much can play any side, any, any position. Do you feel like that's where you fit best just based on your experience there? Yes, ma'am. How how tall are you right now, and what's your weight since since the end of the season? I'm six five, and I gained three pounds in the last couple of months. I was three twelve, now I'm at three fifteen. You feel good at that weight? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what have the coaches told you about what they want you working on, how they want you eating, all that kind of stuff before you get to Fayetteville? Yes, they, they, you know, they want us to eat right. So, and I've been working on my pass blocking because, you know, that's something we don't do and win. And I've been improving on it. Looking back at the recruitment process, um, could you imagine what, how your life would be different if you hadn't picked Arkansas? What if you picked another school? Yeah, it would be, a, it would be totally different. You know, it just, it just feels good. The love that people show in Arkansas, like I just walk around. Outside of the store and out here, say woo pig suey and all that, you know. Yeah, I don't know. How, it would be way different if I would have chose another place. People people recognize you around. Do you do you rock the Razorback gear a little bit more now? Yes, man. I wear it, like, at least twice a week. Got to wear it at least twice a week. Yes, man. Uh, how excited is that community for you, your, your family, your friends? Uh, I'm sure they have big goals for you. Oh, uh, yes, man. They su super excited that, you know, I stay home in Arkansas and I get to uh, rip the city, my family, and everybody around. You recruited hard for your class. How do you feel like it all turned out? How are you guys vibing already? Oh, uh, yeah, we vibing real good. You know, we've been vibing since, like, day one. You know, we had a group chat and texting in there, and I feel like it's a real good class. We're going to we're gonna be great. What did you like from the Razorbacks in their play this season? Oh, uh, they did real good. You know, it was a new whole coaching, whole coaching staff, new head coach. And, you know, it probably was different because they wasn't able to actually work with the players they recruited. But they did real good. Yeah, they're, uh, they haven't had an offensive line pick uh, drafted quite yet with Sam Pittman there. He's got a long resume of that. Uh, but, you know, Myron Cunningham is coming back, uh, so they're going to try to get him up there in the draft. What do you like about that offensive line? Do you know some of the guys already, or have you gotten to know them? Well, I know a couple of them. They're real cool, you know. They, um, they'll they help you out if you need help with anything. And I think I think we're going to do real good this year. And how do you like, you know, Cole Carson and uh, Devin Manuel, uh, your, yeah, your, your future teammates? Oh yeah, you know they yeah they they great you know they real they'll keep it real with you you know you need anything they got you and I think we got a real good bond. You feel like you'll have each other's backs. Oh yes, man, we got each other's back. <laughs> you guys, yes, I mean, Lucas Lucas is already on campus. Um, how how bad do you want to protect that guy having get, gotten uh, to know him? Oh yeah, I got to know Lucas real good, and I'm I'm. I'm 
super ready. I'm, I'm so ready. <laughs> I can't even explain it. I'm ready to uh, protect, protect them. Yes, ma'am. What's, what's kind of a goal for you in your first year? My goal is uh, first, you know, do good academically, but, you know, earn a starting spot and and stay at that spot or you know they have to move me around but yeah on earn a starting spot and you know work hard yes ma'am is there anything that you already know that you want to study once you get to arkansas yes ma'am i'm thinking about uh business business management i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do in business yet but that's what i'm thinking about is business management are you gonna be sad when you you know say goodbye to your family and settle in or after this long year, it's just like you're ready to go. Yeah, it's been a tough year. Man. Yeah, I know I'm going to be sad, you know, because I've been with my parents for a long time, 18 years, you know. So, yeah, it's going to be real sad for me and for them. But, you know, got to move on in life. Have they told you they'll be able to make it to those games up there in Fayetteville? Yes, ma'am, most definitely. Especially my dad. He re he, He's so ready. He's talking about you got to get all his gear ready, and my brother too, everybody really, they ready to come up there. What's it been like with the coaching staff, with Coach Pittman and Coach Davis, and just like the communication, like have they given you a sense that once you get to campus, everything's gonna go smoothly based on, you know, everything that's gone down in the last year? Yes, the uh, communication be real, been real good. You know, they contact us, we contact them. And uh, they say, you know, when we get here, of course, it's going to be a lot of hard work, but we most definitely can do it. We can get there. What's, like, one moment you're, like, really looking forward to, like, that you're going to finally realize it's all real? Man, when I run out, run out, run out when we run out, man, it's going to be different than anything I ever experienced, really. Awesome. Yes, Thank you so much, Terry. I really appreciate your time. You're welcome. We'll we'll get to talk to you once you start getting in games. So the sooner you yes, the sooner you do that, and the sooner we can talk again. So have a good yes, one. Good luck. Thank you. You too. Thanks, Terry.